four kilogram light welterweight division for this next contest. Championship gold medalist, the fifth ranked boxer in the world, the tournament number three seed. Preparing for his third bout of the tournament here in the light welterweight division, and that man is Havanis Batskov, 24 years of age from Armenia. Up the steps to the red corner. The sixth rank boxer in the world, the reigning America's continental champion, and that is Andy Cruz, wonderful ring general. Looks to control the tempo of a contest as so many of, com of his compatriots do. Batchkov had a 4 1 points win over Chinzarik Artisuk of Mongolia. Tournament number six seed at the quarterfinal stage. And this man, front foot fighter, likes to operate in the pocket. Everything of the bent arm variety of short and mid range. Yeah, very dangerous one, isn't he, Batchkov? But uh, he's up against uh, a very good Cuban boxer indeed. He's got good movements and very well balanced his crews. So the problem for Batchkov is going to be handling that movement. He's got to drag his opponent in to that toe to toe stuff. Where he will have a chance to manage it. Unanimous points decision win over the tournament number seven seed, Elvis Rodriguez from the Dominican Republic at the quarter final stage, and that was a repeat of the gold medal bout in Tegusa Galpa for America's continental gold, a repeat victory over Elvis, Rod Elvis Rodriguez for Andy Cruz. So a fascinating contesting prospect here then, a box fighter. Batchkov against the master boxer in Andy Cruz. So we're underway. Three rounds scheduled in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division. This one between reigning continental championship gold medalist, the man wearing red, who is invariably onto the front foot, bobbing and weaving his way forwards, is a Havanis Batchkov from Armenia, 24 years of age, ranked number five in the world, the tournament number three seed. His opponent. He's 21 years old, he's the tournament number two seed and ranked sixth in the world, and that is Andy Cruz from Cuba. You can see the tactics can't you from both boxes here. That's got straight on that front foot. And we've said before the judges like that sort of boxes. But Andy Cruz, the Cuban corner, they'll have done the homework, they've just said to hit the team, hit and move, score, don't get hit, keep that movement going. That's what they've said to their man most definitely. Don't Hold your feet against this guy. He's strong, he's powerful on the inside, and that's why you see the movement from Cruz. Movement punctuated with flicking left jab, but that's where Batchkov wants him. Targeting the body immediately. Cruz accommodated him in an exchange and got through the wonderful right hand between the high held gloves of the man in red. Incessant front foot pressure being applied from Batchkov. He knows no other way. That's why so many of his contests that we've commentated on over the years, Richie, are thrilling affairs for Vanish Batchkov. Yeah, he has got a great uh, knack of dragging an opponent into that toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff, and it's very exciting for the crowd, isn't it? But it takes two to tango, so you need your opponent to actually stand there and trade. And look, now he's having a little bit of success. Uh, Cruz has slowed his feet down, and that brings Batchkov into it. The way to box Batchkov is you've got to hit, you've got to move, you've got to move side to side, but occasionally you've also got to try and push him back and keep the judges happy. If they prefer that front foot boxing, well, if, you can, if you can demonstrate movements but then push him back occasionally, they're, they're going to be happy with that. 
showing us some wonderful variety with that lead left hand is Andy Cruz he's snaking it through the middle of the guard it's coming up from his knee he's turning it underneath in a corkscrew shot and he's piling up the points and reddening the face of Havanis Batchkov who keeps on coming and got through with a good left hook to the body there but then took a right uppercut in return classic tactics from Batchkov here to, to hit the, the body of, the, of his opponent any moving moves, or any moving opponent you target the body to slow those feet down, and that's what he's trying to do with that left hook. Trying to cut off the ring, but Cruz remaining a step ahead in that little particular phase of the round. So Batskov reduced to following him around the ring, changing southpaw now. Is Cruz, and again, left hand success penetrating the guard. Terrific accuracy from Cruz, and employing the layback to make his man miss. Comes square on on the ropes, and there was a final left hand to the body from Batchkov, but wonderful ring generalship exhibited by Andy Cruz. Quality of punching there from Cruz was excellent in terms of his accuracy, getting through the guard. Batchkov always on that front foot coming forward, so it will be interesting to see how the judges will go with that round. You have to, I think, admire Cruz's movements and the accuracy in his work, the odd shot here and there. But Batchkov coming forward, that was a nice left up to the body. He didn't hardly take a back footstep there, the man in red. But Cruz getting through with that quality shot, excellent punch picking. And again, well timed right hook from Cruz. from Cuba competes in his second senior world boxing championships here lost to the quarter-final stage to the man from Belarus Dmitry Astanao in Doha two years ago the decision that left him absolutely astonished when it was announced at center ring he's proved himself to be the continental king took his second America's championship world early this summer adding to the Pan Am games that he won in 2015 as well good work in the pocket from Cruz Batchkov coming forwards Peter slowing down marginally from Batchkov and look he's got a nick beneath his right eye he's been pecked and poked repeatedly with these little nudging shots from Cruz that are very accurate indeed he's thrown not many jabs in this round Cruz and that's mainly uh, not only for the points but just to keep the gap between himself and his opponent and just and just to keep his opponent off balance if anything and so he can't he can't set for an attack that's what the jab can do sometimes as he goes out it's a problem for the opponent to get round he can't set for an attack because there's a jab in his face and that's what Cruz has, has done little lapse in concentration there from Cruz holding his feet but look at that you've got to admire that type of work whether you're on the front foot or back foot terrific accuracy Batchkov putting on the earmuffs bracketing his head with his hand but still sharp shooting shots snaking through the middle and repeatedly jolting the man's head back and stopping his forward momentum he's continuing to huff and puff and come forward but he's having very little success the mouthpiece has come out so the referee immediately intervenes and calls time so it will be rinsed and reinserted by the cuban corner he certainly went through the gears there the cruise and we'll start this round with the jab uh, just increased with the tempo just to keep Batchkov to say off balance and keep the distance between himself and Batchkov. Batchkov is very dangerous indeed. He's not been allowed to, to, to punch with those big shots because of that jabs always in his face. In a terrific exhibition of punch picking and moving so far. Now standing flat footed in the pocket cruise and swaying, making the man miss by employing wonderful movement from the waist. Again, just showing the judges there, Ronald, that, you know, he's not he on the back all the time, he's just standing holding his ground there. Good work with the, with the layback from Cruz, and this should bring Batchkov into it now. Well, you've got to admire the, the, the work from the man in blue. That was a terrific right uppercut from Cruz that brought an ooh from this knowledgeable crowd here at the Sport Haller in Hamburg. And Batchkov continues to remain steadfast in, steadfast in pursuit of his task, but another uppercut gets through. And he's being hit with just about every punch in the book now and look being forced backwards by the sheer volume of punches that he's catching some of them are on the gloves reduced 
to crude hooks now trying to land the knockout shot but Cruz oh engages another gear to find the right uppercut once again absolutely sensational performance throughout round two from Andy Cruz my goodness some lovely boxing there from Cruz he really demonstrated didn't he that he can not only box on the front foot but he can hold his feet stand and train use the use of the layback to make his opponent miss very accurately shots and his timing was superb so yeah a very good all round display from Cruz there boxing Ronald here from Cruz look at that for a right of a good probably the best shot of the round Still here boxing at range good one two and then switches there there's that right of a good accuracy and timing excellent there from uh, Andy Cruz also liked his layback work when he made his opponent miss and Batscott's a good kid I mean he's strong but he's just not been allowed to land those big shots because of the work rate right and the skill of the Cuban. Yeah. So we're into the third and final round of what has been a terrific performance thus far from the reigning continental champion of the Americas, Andy Cruz, against his reigning continental counterpart from Europe. Gold medalist Havanis Bachkov. And what a start once again. He's standing, accommodating him against changes here, but he's hitting him, what, six to one? Is that a fair representation of what was witnessed to this point? Shots going around the corner, shots through the middle, occasional single shot success from Bachkov as he takes another right uppercut, and then he's doubled over by a right uppercut to the solar plexus. Yeah, I think you know, he's winning this contest, but you, you may see a change in tactic very shortly from, from Cruz. He might get on his bike and just save his energy, because I think he knows that he's winning this contest. He's very fit indeed. He's gone through the gears tremendously well. And this type of boxing should suit Batchkov, but it's the more accurate punching from the man in blue that's the, the most effective. Vanis Batchkov, a six-time national championship gold medalist, competing in his fourth World Championships here, it's the best ever performance coming away with this bronze medal, but as things stand, and short of landing a finishing blow, it's going to be a bronze, because Andy Cruz Gomez has put a fair amount of distance on the scorecard, one has to assume, between himself and his opponent, making his man miss in the pocket once again, he did get caught by a left hand there, that encourages Batchkov to come forward again, Reduced to rabbit punching there, such as his frustration, just trying to land leather on muscle and bone. Trying the uppercut himself, hard left hand to the body from Batchkov. Right hand was long from the man in red. Batchkov strong, isn't he? He took a lot of shots, but now he's starting to come into it a little bit more. He's trying to, he's been encouraged by, he's landed a good left hook early on in the round. And that just forced him to go, um, Cruz just to hang on. You see when he senses got to him a couple of times but look again now Cruz going through the gears again and again Batskov being repeatedly beaten to the punch the uppercut has been so profitable for Cruz made to miss there counter by a left hand to the body terrific stuff all action stuff in the closing seconds of this third and final round Cruz switches southpaw Batskov having his head buffeted repeatedly between his guard big left hook from him misses by distance Tremendous round of boxing again from both lads. Batchkov on that front foot, trying to land that big shot. But good variety of punching again from the Cuban. He can box a distance behind his jab, straight right hand. But on the inside, he's very accomplished indeed. With that left uppercut, right uppercut, the use of the, of the layback when he makes his opponent miss. It's been a good all-round display here from Cruz. Very impressed indeed. Absolutely sensational performance by Andy Cruz Gomez, putting his place surely in the gold medal bag with a display where he demonstrated his full variety of front foot boxing, back foot boxing.
to the gold medal bout, a unanimous point decision winner with a brilliant display of boxing to book his place in the gold medal bout. Abanis Batchkov, the reigning European champion, comes away with championship bronze here on the global stage. It was a committed performance by him, but really, he was pushed to the margins of the bout by the variety and repertoire and ring craft of the man in blue, Andy Cruz Gomez goes through to the gold medal bout where he'll face off against Uzbekistan, Iqbal John Koldarov. The contest wore on, then he just showed his variety that he can box on the back foot, he can also go forward and be punching the book. Yeah. You're not bad, son. Not bad at all. And after that disappointment in Doha two years ago, you can see what it means to him.